Tombstone. Oh, let's check the tombstone. Here lies Hannah Newmoon. Brave Hannah was too young when she met the Maker. She will live on in our hearts, but nowhere else. Well, unless you count living as a ghost in our house. So is that... All right, we're done with that. Now we just need to finish up this quest. Let's go ahead north. Let's see if we can't find the alchemy shop. I like the humor in this game. It's kind of cheesy, but I like it. I think it fits the atmosphere so far. I think this would be, uh, from what little I've played, I've always wondered why the name of the place, the Crooked House Hill. It's like a house used to be here, or something was. If you are into old school RPGs, what the hell? Oh, they look, they look like a hand for a second. If you're, looks, this seems like a type of game if you're into old school RPGs that have a lot of flavor text, that do a lot of world building. And by world building, I just mean, oh, it's, no, no. I mean that it's got a lot of background lore and books and things that you can read. This seems like it would be something that would be right up folks' alley. Yeah. I don't know why you jump into the spider web to destroy it. Did that did that uh did that web just block me? I think it was me blocking the spider. Ooh, critical hits. Oh uh, yeah. Obviously the combat is very simplistic, at least it is right now. Alright, so we've explored everything that's up there. Oh, there's a building there. Let's travel back to the house. Quick travel is very quick, too. Fittingly enough. Oh, room the gargoyle. Wait, what's this sign say? Ah, here's the alchemy shop. As you look closer, you'll notice this isn't a petrified human. It's a real magical gargoyle. But what, why would your father have installed one now? The old alchemist shop never used to have a door guard. Suddenly, it starts moving and turns to face you. Just a moment. Verifying. I see you are with Master Wood. You may proceed. The door swings open and the gargoyle shuts its mouth, looking blankly into the horizon. What happened here? Have you seen anything? There is no answer. Apparently this gargoyle wasn't designed to have conversations. Well, is next, yes, sir. Uh, let's grab some. Oh, God, spider. Yeah, take that. This hoe is pretty badass. Dead fish. A dead fish is lurching around the floor. It squints at you for a while with its empty eyes, then resumes the dragging and lurching. That's very bizarre. There might, there just might be a secret door somewhere in this very house. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go this way first. Dagoo. Father's pet Dagoo. She's got a very angry snarl, angry snarl on her petrified face. Dad's bookshelf. Winston's journal. How long is this? Okay, I can read this. Especially because this is probably story related. Research journal by Winston the Alchemist. Subject, a stone known as the Gem of Arion. History, Grandfather Marthon gave this gem to me. He claimed it has been handed down in our family for generations with instructions to never let it leave the family and to keep it secret. It is unknown where it originally came from or even why it should be kept secret. It is not of any valuable gemstone material. That much is known. The gem emits faint B radiation, which certainly merits an explanation. 20th, night, 21st of the ninth moon. Robert has sent me the equipment I need, and I have started with the first batch of acids. The gem is not soluble in, my, in any acid known to me. I received a bad acid burn, but it is already starting to heal. The stone is impervious to all forms of heat, cold and acid. It could simply be a black rock, black rock shard, but its color is unusual for black rock. By his father's request, I have given my assistant Word a short holiday. That daft old innkeeper told me Word should spend more time outdoors chasing girls and less time with my alchemical fumes. It's better this way. This could be dangerous. Saw the strangest thing today. The bottle of acidic slime started rocking violently and fell to the floor. I went to fetch my acid-proof broom and dustpan, and when I came back, the slime had vanished. Word claims he was nowhere near the alchemy shop that day. Did the acid just ooze out of the door by itself? The lead dust from my experiments have turned into the lead dust from my experiments has turned to gold. You can believe my astonishment when late in the afternoon my wife found a cl cloud of cold gold dust floating around the house. My long ambition of turning lead into gold has come true, but it no longer feels important. What is mere gold compared to life? 
Are we not worth our weight in gold? I decided to keep the gold for further experiments. I have a terrible headache, but I am on to something. The old scrolls confirm my suspicions. This might be one of the gems of life from that cursed pendant. But if that's true, then how did the gem come to our family? Success! The stone has brought life back to an ant that I squashed. It only lived for about a minute afterwards and tried to bite me all the while. Even so, it's incredible. If this works, nobody ever needs to die again. This gen gem hasn't helped my headache at all. I'm beginning to sus suspect that the gem is incomplete. It doesn't really give full life to test subjects I've used it on, only a sort of half-life. There may be a way to remove the curse from the gem, but I need to complete the complete pendant. But if this gem is from the real cursed pendant of resurrection, will the original owner come looking for it? Old Plotho had a terrible accident with his hoe, and we tried to give life back to the hand and reattach it. Strangely, the hand received a life of its own, and it's now jumping around the house trying to help me with my experiments. I've named it Mitten. My headaches are preventing me from thinking clearly, but I'm glad I have a servant to help me in my work. Things have gone terribly wrong. Hannah is dead. I must put a stop to this. If only I could if I could only complete the pendant, it could save her, but only if it's purified by it of its evil taint. <laughs> evil taint. Uh, ooh, candle like that. Light that, move that chair. Thank you. Medium ooze, no! Oh, we can't use... Alright. Let's use our hoe, since we can't use our bow. Ooh, a small ooze. Uh. There we go. Focus blow. Some flowers. Mom's prize flower. Oh, Astro blade? What is that? Astro blade, an ast astronomical instrument by approximating the position of drift moon on its orbit one can tell the time of day. It's 12.34. And that's game time, not my time. Interesting. I assume... Well, no. Ah! That was the secret door. I just had to pull the torch. New level? Uh, let's go ahead and go with strength, since I'm doing melee a lot anyway. One more for archery, though. Let's do shield bash. What the hell? Maybe we'll get to fight something else so we can check it out. There's your father's letter from you, Malachi. I hope there's something useful in there that helps us save my dad and your parents. I almost forgot the other villagers. Of course there is. You know my father, don't you? Gold dust woman. Lab equipment. I don't know anything about the alchemy and the babies. Father's second letter. Malachi, I'm writing this letter in case something happens to me before you get here. I have finally found out the truth about Grandfather's gem. I had to give the gem to Robert for safekeeping. I don't want to keep it near here anymore. Terrible things have happened. I have sent Robert to a place called Eldar's Tomb, two Moonians south of Dalmar. If I am not here, you must go there alone and find your brother. Be careful, son. There is evil at work here. Stay safe, your father, Winston. Open new area, Eldar's Tomb. Wow, it's way up there. You can continue to explore Northrop before going away. To change your active quest, open the quest lob, key Q, and click the checkbox next to a quest. When you're ready to leave, you can access the world map through your minimap. All right. There is a cloud of gold-colored dust floating inside the cauldron. What is this stuff, word? It's the gold dust your father made. I don't think even he himself knows how he did it, but he suspected that the gem had something to do with it. Hey, want to try something cool? Winston wasn't really interested in the stuff, so he left it to me. What is he doing? Word sticks his hands inside the cauldron, and the dust flows up and completely covers him. Pretty neat, huh? I was planning on using it as a layer of protective underwear, or to impress my girlfriend. As Word shakes his hand, the dust flows back into the cauldron. You could probably take the dust with you if you wanted to. Hell yeah, I'll take it. You grab a fistful of the gold dust, and the rest of it flows right into the palm of your hand. Some magical bond seems to be binding the grains together. You now have the gold dust skill. You can use it to gain an armor bonus in combat. Nice. Gold dust woman. Turn the oil burner on, and then steal everything and leave. Father has a theory that these are the basic components that make up a drift moon. A lot of nonsense. Okay. Looks like we looted this place pretty well. 
Hey, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the new area. Uh, world map. There we go. This is a pretty long demo. Uh, okay, that's where you zone out, I guess. Let's check out this. Oh, you find your you find your way to Elder's tomb, but the road is blocked by an old wizened monk carrying a wooden staff. As you come closer, he smiles wildly, widely. Good day to you, Malachi, son of Winston. I am Paul. Suddenly, the old man's warm smile turns into a worried frown. My faithful friend, Fiegel, has just told me the disturbing news about your mother and father. It is a terrible tragedy for the whole village, and indeed for the whole of Driftmoon. But there is still hope, I believe. I don't believe we've met. How do you know me? No, we have never met. But Fiegel sees many things as she flies. A deep frown forms on Paul's face as he starts stroking his beard. Your father is an intelligent man, but he should have known better. He never should have tried to find out about the gym. Now the lizard folk have taken him prisoner and learned all that he knows, and they are determined to find all the gems for their dark king, Exal, who has, was once known as Exal the Wise. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I must start the, start the story from the beginning. Between the time when the waters rose over Eleanor and the coming of the undead horde, there was a powerful wizard king called Ixal the Wise. His wife was the beautiful queen Eanor, whom he loved dearly. But Eanor fell ill, and while still in the prime of her youth, she died. The wizard king could not bear to part with his queen, and maddened with grief, he decided to return her to life, no matter the cost. Such a deed was against the very fabric of creation, but with the uncommon skill and after many years of unnatural experimentation, the king made ready the pendant of resurrection that would bring life back to his beloved Aenor. Thus, life returned to Queen Aenor's decayed body. Her soul animated the dead, rotting corpse, and through the results no more pleased the eye, King Exal was overjoyed. No longer would death have any hold of his beloved ones, or even himself. But he didn't know that the soul that returned to her body had not come from the place of light. One force of, once on forcibly bringing back his wife, King Exal was left with only a dark shadow of her soul, the part the Maker had cleansed away at the Gate of Light. Thus, the Queen Aenar that returned was but a twisted shadow of her former self. And in the dark hours of the night, Aenar killed her husband mercilessly and revived him into unlife with the same pendant of resurrection that had revived her. Many tragic tales tell of the generations of war fought against Dark Exalt and his undead horde, and of the thousands who died and were turned to undead. But against all odds, two men managed to infiltrate Exalt's fortress and find the Pendant of Resurrection. Through great peril, the gems that make up the Pendant of Resurrection were torn off, and behold, the souls trapped in the undead warriors were freed, and the war was over. But a great uncertainty remained in the minds of the defenders, for the bodies of the Dark King Exal and his wife, King Queen Aenor, were never found. Fearing the return of the Wizard King, the survivors sought to destroy the Pendant of Resurrection, but the gems of the Pendant could not be broken down or melted. When all options had been exhausted, it was decided that the gems would be hidden. Each gem was carefully placed in a separate, secret location, along with a magical guardian to protect it. Should Exal return, he could never reassemble the Pendant of Resurrection. Many centuries ago, one of our, your ancestors was trusted with guarding one of the gems, though unlike the other guardians, she was merely a mortal. She was ordered to never reveal the true nature of the gem to her sons and daughters, so her descendants would not be compelled to use the gem. Paul strokes his long beard again. But your father is a man ever curious about the mysteries of the world. Not unlike you, I think. He was obsessed with knowing the truth about the gem, but because of what he found out, your mother has been petrified, and he himself, as well as you and your brother, have been put into terrible danger. Suddenly Paul stops, his beard stroking, and places his hand on your shoulder. But now, before I leave, I have a gift for you, Malachi. Receive the Maker's Blessing. You will need it when you go further. Ooh. So this old man just put a hand on me? Is that, is that how this is working? Paul, a strange feeling travels from your shoulder to your entire body. You have learned the Bless skill. It can give you strength before a difficult fight. One last thing. 
Don't be afraid if you see a large silver phoenix coming at you. I have tried to convince my friend Fiegel to help you. If she finds you worthy, she may come to you in your hour of need. Paul pauses for a moment, patting his pockets. Yes, that is all I think. I hope I didn't forget anything. I must leave you now and hurry back to the monastery. I fear my, I may already be too late. May the good Lord guide you and keep you safe. We will meet again, Malachi. Alrighty, Ingaru. And a mushroom. I found some Ingaru oil. You sure did. Because I clicked on it. Yep, another pearl. Nice. Oh, whoops. Let's uh, shoot this from far away. Oh, yeah, nice shot, me. Thank you. Kind of went through the wall there a little bit, but that's okay because I made me not, it made me not die. So, ooh, silver feather. Splinter tree. I don't know if these are actually glowing or not. It's kind of hard to tell because of the snowy background. Looks like that's a dead end, so let's move on. Let me know what you guys are thinking so far of this little series. Well, more specifically, tell me what you think of the idea of this series. Again, me... Ooh, whoa, whoa. Ah, shit. I accidentally clicked. Bzz. Down here. I'm now up here. The little fly keeps buzzing around wildly. I'm Buzz the Firefly. Please don't step on me or swat me. I'm scared. Don't worry, Buzz. What are you doing here? My cousin Fizz and I were here looking for fire flowers, and then Fizz went into the tomb. Mad, I've been too scared to go inside. Oh, please, huge sir. Can you please free my cousin? I'm going in anyway. I'll keep a lookout for your cousin. Buzz, that's great. I hope you can find my cousin. Fireflies aren't meant to do anything dangerous. So we have a quest to find a firefly. A named firefly. You can drag items into the quick slots below from your main inventory or from your the skills you've learned on the right side of your inventory. Use your quick inventory slots by pressing the appropriate number keys. All right, makes sense. But yeah, let me know what you think of this. I, whoa, swords, health potions, grave robbing tools. A skeleton with an arrow sticking through his cranium runs at you screaming, boo! He looks at you quizzically and prods at his arrow with the skeletal fingers. He looks at you expectantly for a while, then sighs audibly. Listen, sorry about that. It's just part of my job. But seeing as you didn't run away, I've got to give you the official warning. The official warning is that if you go any deeper, we'll kill you. I won't lay a bone on you, but some of the other guys will and are, well, a bit grumpy. Kill me, why? You'll have to hear the whole story to understand. See, a few centuries ago, we were adventurers, just like you, looking for treasure. We searched one chamber after another, all filled with riches beyond our wildest dreams. We could have left here with money, than, more money than we could carry, but we still wanted to open the final chamber and look for the most valuable item of them all. What was there? There was just some ghost who called himself Eldar, and he wanted us to leave. But Snap attacked him. Of course, we didn't stand a chance. One minute, I'm alive and bang! Some ancient curse turns me into an undead warrior. Have you seen a man called Robert? Robert, eh? There was a man a few days ago who rushed past me so fast I never got to say boo. Hasn't returned. He could be dead already. Everyone else is. What is this place? In my time, they used to call this the Dead Man's Cave. I always thought it sounded cool until I died in it. A little too ironic, isn't it? Some ancient dead king guarding his precious heirlooms. Listen, pal, if you have any sense in you left, don't annoy the ghost. He's really nice and just and all, and just and all, but you don't want to be on his bad side. Goodbye. Yeah, okay. Mash bash. A Gorn trader is frantically trying to arrange the items on his selling carts. Welcome to this branch office of the Superior Grave Robbing Tools. Can I interest you in a health potions? You're selling grave robbing tools? Ah, yes, we have a branch. We have branch offices in all popular tombs and dungeons. It's a great business idea. I sell a sword, and after you die, I get to sell it again to some other pool, so, poor sod. Have you seen a man called Robert around here? Could be. Nobody ever comes back, so I don't bother asking names. I'll have a look at what you're selling. Let's see. Murdered man's helmet. This helmet was enchanted in a most foul method. A particularly hungry beggar was murdered, and his spirit was captured in the armor. 
Uh, Constitution plus two, curse, food consumption plus twenty five percent, armor plus two. That's really cool. I like the curse thing. That's a cool idea. Whacker. Uh, let's see. Um, unless I see a good bow. Eh. I don't see any good bows, so I don't really know what's safe to sell either. So yeah, I right, just close that. Goodbye. And I did notice something here. The ring. Mitten's ring. This is the ring Mitten, the disembodied hand, was wearing when it attacked you. Since Mitten had no eyes, this was the only way it could sense its surrounding. Note, through the uncivil nature of ring magic, it is not possible to wear one, more than one ring at a time. Oh, sweet. So I can see uh, an infrared distance four. Nice. So, let's see. Yep. Yeah. What's this? Murder Man's helmet. Oh, I could try to steal this stuff, but we won't. Barrel. You can pause. You can you can pause combat by pressing space. Oh, nice. I hear the tick tock. All right, so we pause combat. Switch weapons to. Alright, let's, uh, oh, wait. I want a shield bash. Shield bash, uh, hell yeah. Oh god, nope. Alright, let's switch back to the bow. Broken ticker, oh, okay, it's broken. You cautiously approach the ticker, but nothing happens. It whirs and rotates around slowly. I try to make it work by shaking it. Pop the lid open. Let's pop the lid open. Inside the ticker are two metal wheels. A small piece of scrap metal is stuck between them. Above the wheels is a disc with a small needle that is pointing directly at you. Uh, let's just leave. Can I save the game? Yes. Save to unused. Okay. Now let's try to fix it. Pop open the lid. Examine the disc and the needle. As you move to examine the disc, the needle turns towards you. This must be what guides the machine towards its enemies. Oh, bend the needle. You bend the needle and you barely have time to take your hands away as a piece of scrap metal inside the machine whirs past and the ticker starts following you around. Sweet. I guess. Sarcophagus. Ooh, yeah, let's open that bad boy. A tomb key. And fire powder. Ingredients. Nice. Can I grab, can I take this torch? There we go. Might as well grab them all. Open the door. Oh, damn it. Oh, nice! That was awesome. Uh, which weapon am I using right now? Oh, shit. <laughs> they actually have names. That's pretty cool. It's in this barrel. Antidote. Piece of meat. Ooh, slime. Oh, shit. Ernest is still alive. Fire powder. Alright. Crumpled notes. Ernest, William, I'm locking you both up. You two will stay here until Ernest can put William back together. And no more fighting between the two of you. Snap. Oh, snap. All right, a health should come back via regeneration. Um, What weapon am I wielding? Switch to melee. Okay, so this means switch to melee, so it means I've got a boat equipped now. Okay. So whichever weapon it's showing is the one that you should switch. That The opposite of the one that you're wielding. You can drag combat skills to the quick bar... Use your... Wait, what is this? Gold dust. Oh, okay. And then that's the bless. I gotcha. Alright, so let's... Let's go ahead and buff ourselves up here. Alright, let's switch to melee. Since these guys are up in our grill. Why are my skills trade out both ways? Oh, no, they're not grayed out. They're just um, red. That throws me off a bit. All right, what's over here? Ooh. Destroy the spider web. Again, I don't quite understand why he jumps face first into the spider web to destroy it. But who am I to judge his combat style? Or my combat style? Now, looks like I could steal the health potion if I wanted to, but I won't. The skeleton is wearing the remnants of an expensive black suit and a bowler hat. He flashes you a golden 24 karat grin and whispers conspiratorially. I've got a few things here for sale. Shh, keep it down. I don't want to let Sherry see me selling anything. She's already hidden for my fingers. Let's see items. 
Uh, stature bow, already have that. Evil berries. <coughs> eh. Goodbye, sir. Good day to you, sir. Um, what's over here? You can use the reverse ooze power to escape from your enemies when your wounds are out. Jackass. Hell yeah. What do you want these apples? Archery. Some archery on archer. Reverse ooze powder. Green salts. I'm wondering what that does, reverse ooze powder. And I'm assuming we can probably just drag that onto the bar. Yep. We might give her a whirl. Don't want to steal anything from this lovely bloke. Looks like my buff just went away. Tin cold coin and in Inga. Ruin whatever, whatever. Door. It does open from the side. I need to find an alternate route, which is probably this way. Press control to highlight nearby items and usable objects. Things may still be left hidden under other objects. Caps lock toggles it in case you want to leave it on. Oh, I see. Yeah, let's just leave it on for now. Antidote. How did I miss that sarcophagus before? Oh, well. So for the purist, you can just leave that off, obviously. Skeleton dwarf. All right, let's oops. let's go ahead and start on this guy. Hmm. Archery. I need a tank to pull aggro. Kill this guy. Yeah, you better run. Kill him. I'm trying to decide if I I don't try to figure out if I need to keep clicking on them or. If it's smart enough to just auto attack. Where are you going? You got a new level. Let's go with a uh, constitution here. Could use a little few more hit points. Um. Oh, the shield bash does a stun. Nice. Let's go with archery again though. Because I'd like for the archery to work. Can I open this door now? Sweet. Poor, poor word. All beat up. Oh, there's somebody in here. In the dim light, you see a shriveled lizard. He was obviously, he has obviously been trapped here for some time. Slave, you have opened the door. Letting me out of this trap was a wise thing to do. Now give me food. Serve the Rakan Master. What are you doing here? The works of Great Exal do not conserve sla concern slaves. The warrior pauses and considers you for a while. I showed a sign of weakness by getting trapped in here, so the others left me to die. The weak ones must die, so our race is stronger. He blinks sideways as he stares at you with his red eyes. Now give me your food. I must have it. Have you seen a man named Robert around here? Yes, I have spoken with the slave through the door, but he didn't let me out. He was insane. I wanted to meet I wanted to meet the terrible ghost Eldar. I hope the ghost has killed this Robert already, so I might feast on his bones. Saliva drops from the lizard's fangs. I have told you what you asked, now give me the food. Um, uh, I'll give him the food. Oh, and I gained karma, nice. The lizard gulps the food in one huge mouthful. You have let me live. You are weak. I will leave now, but I cannot be in your debt. One day I will find you and kill you. On second thought, I better kill you now. Die, slave. Screw this guy. Die, fool. Okay, it looks like it does auto attack. Oh, hey, where's this archer coming from? Get out of here. I'm a master archer. Maybe not. But still. About underground trees. About underground trees by Gareth. This research has taken me over 90 years. Being an undead skeleton has given me a unique opportunity to fully explore gardening in a deep underground tunnel. I will publish this useful information as a book someday. I'm not going to read all this. You can pause it if you want. My throat is actually starting to seriously hurt. So, yeah. That's part of the reason. I like how that guy was locked in there, but I didn't need a key or anything to get him out. Grab that stuff. During combat, use the skills you've learned by clicking on them or by pressing one of the appropriate quick slot numbers. You can arrange your skills through the inventory view. Okay. Let's go ahead and go through these doors. Hmm. Alternate route this way. Yeah, no, 
Wait, this is the way I came, isn't it? Yeah. So I can't get through here, can I? Oh. Wait, so why was that guy trapped? If he could just walk through this way. He obviously was very weak. Take this torch. Do a switch. Oh, nice. I opened the door. And the trap is owning those guys now. Sweet. Ha ha. Are they actually trying to shoot it with arrows? Lol. Uh oh. Uh, Out. Run. Uh, go, go, go. There we go. 